Hey, my name's Ray Lazor, and today I'm playing Square Meal, a flash game made by Nitrome in 2007, and also probably one of the first games I ever attempted to record as a kid. I remember attempting to pirate a copy of either Fraps or Bandicam and recording pretty much the entire monitor with the recording software in it, and doing a 30 minute commentary on the first five levels only to realize afterwards that you need a microphone to record your own voice, so... This is my second attempt today for Little Ray, who attempted to perform the worst square meal Let's Play ever, and now I will attempt the second worst playthrough of square meal ever. And with that, let's begin. I'm going to try to go for 10 levels every video, although these videos are probably going to be pretty short. So you start off as this green thing, or if you were player 2, a blue thing. You eat food for 50 points, and you can also eat rocks and chuck them at people for 100 points. And your goal is to eat on the monsters. Uh, the stone blocks you see here don't really do anything, so... Yeah, they're pretty basic blocks, they don't break, they don't move fast or slow. They're just regular blocks, which will allow us to consume everything very very quickly so with that that's one tutorial of the way and now they immediately introduce us to a second thing of blocks which is the wood block which will break after one use regardless as well as this shell enemy who needs to be bashed in the face in order to get knocked out and if he's hiding down below inside his shell uh, he won't take any damage so you can't stun him we also have these buffalo people who generally walk in straight lines, but they know how to turn around. And they have a tendency of charging anyone, uh, running in a straight line until they get to an end and hit a block. And if we can see the monster from before, I can talk about that guy too. But those mud gravy monsters you saw earlier just walk in a straight line until they bump into a block, so that's pretty straightforward. I wanted to trap you so I could harvest your information, but that's alright. And I'm gonna try to eat as many food items as I can uh, in these videos, just to lengthen them. Please don't kill me. Oh, okay, see you later. Run, stubby leg, Mickey. Alright, there we go. That's two levels done. Let's hop into the next one, level three. And, oh, we also got another block here, which I'll talk about in a second. In the meantime... We can observe the natural gravy monster as it walks back and forth after hitting a wall. It's great. They sometimes turn sideways, which makes them extremely dangerous. So you gotta be careful with that, if you're playing along, that is. Here we have the steel rock, which is just really slow moving, and it also stops early. Usually with the stone brick, it will stop once it hits a stone wall, or any kind of wall really. Kind of like the buffalo. But uh, in this case, the oak blocks, they're slow. They're really, really slow. Also, the food items don't really change in any points or behavior in terms of their design, so... A tomato does not give you, like, I don't know, an extra life. They, they all have the same point value of 50. And, uh, I'm not gonna try to go for high scores in this game, because you lose all of your score if you die. And dying is very easy in this game, so I'm not gonna try that. I will try to eat every single food item, as said previously. And I'll try to eat you, which I will get to. Haha. -ha. Alright, one left guy. One guy to the left, who's left. And I will destroy you. I'll shoot the block up here so I can grab it quickly. And then this man will meet his demise. A yummy, yummy demise. Presuming he's gravy and not mud. He could be mud. Or a sewer monster of some descript. I, I hope not. It's kind of gross. I don't know why you're eating like delicious food while eating like bones at the same time. That's a little bit odd, but hey, it's a monster. It doesn't care. It will eat whatever it wants, including its fallen brethren. So those bone things might not be buffalo. To be fair, they uh they have the same horns as the <laughs> as the player. I freaked out there because it started moving even though it was stunned. Uh, because this game is so old and Nitrum only started making games around this time, I believe this game is extremely glitchy, so sometimes a food item might not be uh, obtainable for some reason. So, I, I won't be stretching too much about that, but 
nonetheless, it's a good challenge to go for every single tomato, ham, turkey thing, or whatever else that's on the menu. And I'll knock you out, because I don't want you to chase me down. And hopefully I'll be able to- Oh, actually I still need the stone block. I want to go after the ham first, since the level ends if I hit the monster. So, I'll hit you, or miss. Go grab my stone block so I can try to push you out of there. Or lose my stone block and have to get another one. Hold on. It's okay. It'll only take a little bit, you. You're right there. Oh, okay. It's fine. He was, uh, just getting his, his wits about. Oh my god, alright. There we go. Get behind him. I need this. Okay, hold on. We're gonna hit him and quickly eat this. And that. There we go. Level 4 is done. A little bit stressful, but we are A-OK. -okay. Uh, I did a test recording beforehand, which is why you can uh, see that I've already completed all 50 levels. I wanted to make sure I could actually beat this game before I did a playthrough on it, because uh, Nitrum games have a tendency of getting really hardcore and brutal later on. At least that's what I feel. So let's trap one end of monsters here and send these guys into a chain combo. And that guy's not edible and I just died. So from something like that, you lose all your score, and if I attempted to go for a perfect score, which I believe only one person has gotten, um, well, you would have to start the game from the beginning, and I don't want to do that. So let's just pick up these low food items and hit this guy. A good way to make sure you're A-OK -okay is not to get too greedy with the gravy monsters. As well as trap the monsters behind you so they don't sneak up on you. It's not too hard though since the wall beside you is edible. So you can just pick that thing up if you ever need it. And sneak into the center area. But otherwise, I believe this is the last one. So, let's eat you and finish level 5. Yeah, alright. In this level, we're shown a new block, which is the... Ye Odin Spike Block, which you don't want to touch because they kill you, like spikes do. Funnily enough, the spiky monsters like hanging out on them for some reason. It's a little bit odd. So let's bash this guy in the face. You can hit these guys even if they're in their shell as long as you smack their faces in. They remind me of little German helmets. And uh, we're gonna wait for this guy to start moving. If I get on the spikes, I would obviously die. And he's in a bad position that I can't eat him from, so I'll just wait on you. And I missed. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Hold on. There we go. Alright, that's one. And that guy just got into my lane, which is good news for me. And that's level 6. Right on. I think we spawned inside, like, a star? I'm not sure. Right now, this early on in the game, they're just really focused on making silly designs for the levels and letting you get used to attacking everything. It's the reason why level 1 and 2 shows new things, but not so much in the later levels. Although, I'm pretty sure this level has a gimmick. I'm not sure why I don't see the block, but I guess it's not here. I'm probably thinking about a different level. So, let's just go after these mud monsters one at a time then. If you want to try, if, if you think that I am terrible at this game, you should give this game a go. Since I had a lot of fun as a kid, and for some reason never rage quitted uh, Square Meal. Actually, my first Nitrum game that I ever beat, uh, oddly enough, as a child. But if you think I'm playing terribly right now on this recording, you can try giving Nitrum a spin yourself, which is in the low sidebar. Alongside that, there's a playlist, but this is the first video, so I'm not sure why you would need to check it now. But you can, if you'd like. A uh, good thing to do on this level is to also just trap everything when you can. And use just separate the levels into a top and bottom half. That way you don't have to deal with everyone, or just run into them regardless. <laughs> Anyways, let's try this again. Put inside a little square, not too much to worry about since we can't really touch the spikes outside. And let's evenly distribute these monsters, or have them phase through the blocks, that's okay too, I suppose. Okay, or they cannot just stop the blocks halfway through. Right. Nitrum, you are probably so much better at making games now. This game's still pretty fun though. 
I'm not sure if Nitrum games are still beatable today because I've never beaten any other Nitrum game besides Square Meal. But, uh, eh, good enough. Alright. Oh, God. Alright. No. Oh, come on. Oh, no. I was one monster away. Oh, this is going to take forever. It's actually going to take a few minutes. I'm not too concerned about that since I like my videos being 24 minutes long. And these videos will probably be around 15 because these levels are not too long if I could just win and stop having monsters glitch to blocks. I would cut this out, but then I would just make this video even shorter. So, in, in the meantime, I'll just try to entertain you and not get killed mercilessly by these things. I'd appreciate that. I am not even separating these monsters anymore and it's making this a lot more difficult than it needs to be for being level 7. I, I'm assuming it's level 7. I'm crossing off the numbers as I play them, so... Hopefully I'm good at counting. And I'm not failing my numbers. But otherwise, I want to go after the bull first since he's more dangerous than this predictable gravy monster. And with that, we complete our level 7. Lovely. Let's move on to level 8, where we're introduced to a new enemy, which is this fish thing. As you can see, it knows how to flap its fins. And it's able to float over blocks, if I can just have this guy float over this one. And it makes it particularly dangerous because if you stay in one spot for too long, he will hunt you down by taking the fastest route he can. So it's good to take them out as early as you can unless there's other dangers. But uh, otherwise, yeah, pretty straightforward level. Just here to show you that these things can fly. I bet they would taste delicious being grilled. A nice square fish meal. Also, the name of this game is a huge pun, if you haven't realized. If you don't get the pun, pl please just search up Square Meal. Without the Nitro in it. I need a faster block. I should've just grabbed one of those wood blocks. I'm not sure why I didn't. Anyways, that's a level done. Let's move on. Oh, making some good progress here. And in this level is... This level is fairly easy, but it is one of the levels you could technically fail on. You'll notice that every block we grab is a wood block and they destroy wood blocks, so... If you somehow manage to use all of these things up and miss, you could die. But the biggest danger of this game, or this level rather, is that the blocks don't go through multiple enemies, so... If you tried to fire into a crowd of two, you would only be able to stop one, and if you ate that guy in the wrong timing, the second one could have just came and smacked you in the face or do whatever mud monsters do. Cover you in gravy, or give you a stomach ache. Although, this guy seems to eat everything and doesn't care. At any rate, we're on our 10th level, I believe, so not too much to worry about. The only danger of this level is being caught in corridors, because these guys wander randomly and they have a tendency of trapping you in areas, so it's always a good idea to have a block with you. In my case, I'm backing off to the right in case he traps me, and I'm going to grab the stone block to make sure he dies. And with that, I want to avoid unleashing any more enemies until I am saddled up and ready. So I'll use my stone block to break that wood block and grab that mud man there. I would eat that apple, but he would probably charge after me immediately afterwards. With this, I need to get the wood block first. I'll just eat him with it since I can. And otherwise, this is a pretty straightforward level. All of these things introduce small little mechanics, and I actually really like this game for what it is. Because one, it's intuitive. Two, it's actually a really good flash game compared to what we get nowadays. And I need to get rid of this wood block before I can have some bread. But it's Nitrum has a sudden, a very specific charm with it. The moment Nitrum started making games, it seemed like they were professional since the beginning, and it's quite amazing with that. At any rate, I believe that's our 10th level. I'll go back to the menu to check, since I don't care about losing my score. And... I guess I just did the 11th level. Cool. I went a level over, sorry about that. In the next video, I'll do levels 12 to 20. Thanks for watching.